we have spent quite a lot of time talking about the optimal choice in the two goods model. Mathematically, we determine two variables, x1 and x2, the consumption of good 1 and good 2, given three parameters, p1, p2, and m. In some cases, for example, if preferences are well behaved, we know that the optimal choice is unique. If this is the case, the optimal choice of x1 and x2 will depend on the three parameters p1, p2, and m, and we can write the optimal choice of x1 and x2 as functions of these parameters. These functions are called the demand functions for good 1 and good 2. If I know the demand functions, I can simply plug in prices and income into these functions, and they will return the optimal bundle. If it is the case that the demand function for good 1 is increasing in income, then we say that good 1 is a normal good. We make a similar definition for good 2. Good 2 is normal if the consumer increases her consumption of good 2 when her income increases. Here is a picture illustrating the case when both goods are normal. The graph shows the optimal bundle for a consumer with given prices and a given income. If her income increases, the budget line shifts outwards. The slope is the same since there is no change in prices. With this higher income, this is her new optimal bundle. We see that there is an increase in both x1 and x2. For a good to be normal, the same thing must hold for any increase in income. Here, her income is even higher, and her demand of both goods has increased. Both goods are normal goods. If the demand function for good 1 is strictly decreasing in M, then we say that good 1 is inferior. Don't confuse an inferior good with a bad or a neutral good. The term inferior good is typically used only for goods that are desired, but which has the property that we tend to consume less of it when income increases. If we reduce our consumption of good 2 when income increases, we say that good 2 is inferior. In a two goods model with well-behaved preferences, if one good is inferior, the other one must be normal. Here is a picture illustrating preferences and optimal bundles when good 1 is inferior. We start with an income, the budget line, and an optimal bundle. Income is increased and the budget line is shifted outwards. I have drawn an indifference curve which is tangent to the new budget line. We see that consumption of good 1 has decreased while consumption of good 2 has increased. An even higher income will reduce consumption of good 1 even more. So inferior goods are goods we tend to consume when our income is low. As an example, good 1 could be a cheap type of cola while good 2 was Coca-Cola. With a low income, consumption of the cheap type is large while as income increases, the consumer switches away from the cheap type of cola. Here are two mathematical examples. In my first example, the demand function for good 1 is given by m over p1. This function is increasing in m as we can see by taking the partial derivative of x1 with respect to m. We get 1 over p1 which is strictly positive. Therefore, good 1 is normal. In my second example, the demand for good 1 is given by 8m minus m squared divided by 10p1, if income is between 0 and 8. If we differentiate this function with respect to m, we get 8 minus 2m divided by 10p1. Since 8 minus 2m is greater than or equal to 0 when m is less than or equal to 4, good 1 is normal for levels of income up to 4 units. For m greater than 4, the partial derivative is negative and x1 is strictly decreasing in m and good 1 is inferior. 